Hey friendly neighbors, coming to you live from my living room in New York City. So Epic Reads did this <laughs> dorktastic fun facts video with me and basically it was just me geeking out over a bunch of stuff. But of course that video could not be three hours long with me obsessing over things as I do. Um, it was only about four minutes so I thought there's more I want to talk about. Wouldn't it be cool if I expanded on some of these fun facts? and did my own series. So I thought of this series called Fun Fact and a Book. And what I'm gonna do with these videos is expand on one of the fun facts from the video and then connect it to a book that's related to the fun fact in some way. Fun Fact and a Book. Um, and I will put the link to that Epic Reads Fun Fact video in the comments. Um, so you can see me obsessing and dorking out and geeking over all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so today's fun fact is about collections, because I have a lot of collections, and I especially love my collection of Little Prince things. I've loved, loved, loved Little Prince since I was little. It's always been my favorite book. Even though The Little Prince is technically a children's book, it has so many messages for everybody. I think it's an everybody book. And what's cool about it is every time I read it, I take away something different. And I don't think any other book is quite like Little Prince in that way. You take away something different when you read a book again, depending on where you are in life, and certain things in the book speak to you in a way they didn't previously, right? Because you have grown and you have changed and you're older and you're at a different place in life. But The Little Prince is really exceptional um, at doing that. So, this is some of my collection. <laughs> I have a lot of postcards here. I love, uh, I'm ex obsessed with the fox, as I'll get into more later. It's puppy tail. Love the fox. And I love the lamplighter. He's my favorite character in another world, that the little prince explores. Um, I have coin purses and pencil cases and doubles of everything because you never know when you're going to need a backup. That's important. I have stationery over here, which I love because it just shows the landscape and then there's one star, which I think is really sweet. Um, and it comes, the stationery comes in these cases, which I love. I've got these little cups. I've had this one for a, a long time, and they're just cute little cups. So many Little Prince things. There's a store in Paris that actually carries, I'm sure a lot of stores do there, but there's one that carries like probably the whole line of Little Prince stuff, and I acquired some of this, a lot of this from there. Let's see, oh, my favorite postcard is probably this one. Is it a hat? Or is it a boa constrictor digesting an elephant? Good message, things are not always as they seem. And this is probably my favorite page from the book too. I have crystal stickers. These are old school. Of course, never used any because want to keep it as a complete collection. So will I ever use these? I don't know, dude, because I want to like really keep them pristine. Glow in the dark stars. Super cool, again, never used. Not sure if I'll ever use these. I just think that's really cool. Of course, I have different editions of the book in various languages. Uh, the original, French, of course, Spanish, Greek. I've got my original hardcover, which is so old it doesn't even have the jacket anymore. And, Oh, here's the lamplighter again. I just love him. And this is the fox when the little prince meets the fox. And I just love the fox because he's this jaggedy little sketch with then this big puffy tail. So I really love him. Yeah, I'm pretty much obsessed with the fox. So I have this little fox keychain. And I have, ooh, I forgot if I said I have a journal. So this stuffed animal, because again, it's like, 
I love the fox. This all jaggedy sketch, and then his tail's like poof. I love his puppy tail. I like puppy tails in general. So, fox. And so I, in my 20s, I had this thing where I would go to the Strand, which is a huge used bookstore here in New York City. And I would get these tote bags. They would sell these canvas tote bags, and they still do. Um, and they've changed over the years, obviously their designs and colors. But I would get like these basic bags, and then I would decorate them in different ways. And so with this one, I took a Little Prince t-shirt and cut it up and put ribbon around it and just made a little Prince tote bag. And then on the back, I even sewed in my label from the t-shirt. <laughs> so I brought this tote to Y'all Fest last year when I met Nicola Yoon because I am obsessed with Everything Everything, um, which I don't have to tell you is like the best YA novel. And the Little Prince is a big part of that book, and I was so excited I was going to meet Nicola, and I was on a panel with her and all this stuff. So I brought this tote to show her, and she said, are you crafty? And I'm not really that crafty. So I said, not, not, really, not as crafty as your husband, <laughs> because her husband David Yoon is the one who did the illustrations for Everything Everything. So I'm sure that you know this, and if you don't and you're looking for a book recommendation, this is the one to read. Um, everything, everything is such a beautiful, phenomenal, powerful, passionate story. And it's really unique in that it's a YA novel with illustrations and just using different elements. It's, it's just, it's just so fresh and new and it, and it has a twist. My chin was on the floor. I love a twist like that. So highly recommended. Maddie, who's the main character of the book, loves Little Prince too, and there's an illustration back here, although I shouldn't, I hope that wasn't a spoiler, but I think that, you know, kids who come from abused, um, neglected, rough backgrounds, you know, kids who are growing up in difficult home life situation, they attach to or invent other realities as a way of removing from their own unbearable reality. And I know that's why I like Little Prince and I think Maddie also connected to the Little Prince because she's basically a prisoner in her home. And so the Little Prince, it offers her an escape and also a lot of hope. So that is fun fact and a book for today and I'll be doing more of these. And if you are liking these and you can see help wanted videos I have as well and of course book videos you can subscribe, etc. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, friendly neighbors.